Let's make meatloaf sexy again. Hi, you're watching Plating It at Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. This meatloaf is a great make-ahead meal that's hearty, packed with flavor, and the best you have ever tasted. So now let's get started. To a heated skillet, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to saute half a cup of finely chopped white onion and five garlic cloves. I'm using a garlic press so that we get the garlic cloves nice and fine. Once the onion and garlic is well sorted, we'll empty it into a bowl and allow it to cool. Let's mix all our wet ingredients up together. I'm going to be beating up one egg. To that, we're going to add one third cup of buttermilk. If you do not have buttermilk handy at home, check out my recipe above for homemade buttermilk. Now for that nice traditional flavor, we're going to add half a cup of ketchup, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and one and a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now we're going to give this a good mix. Now for my secret ingredient, 3 4 cup of instant oats. It's going to mix it and now we're going to allow the oats to soak in the mixture for a little while. The oats is going to give the meatloaf a nice fluffy texture. When making meatloaf, I always like to use equal proportions of ground beef to ground pork. Here I'm using 375 grams of lean ground beef and 375 grams of pork sausage meat. This recipe is great for sneaking in veggies. I like to add quarter cup of yellow bell peppers, quarter cup of green bell peppers, quarter cup of red bell peppers, quarter cup of carrots. This is also going to give the meatloaf an amazing color. To this, we're going to add the cooled down onion and garlic. Now we're going to add quarter cup of finely chopped fresh parsley. For a nice citrus zing, we're going to add the zest of one lemon. And to this we're going to add half a cup of chopped mozzarella cheese. Now we're going to add the oats which have soaked well in all that liquid. Now let's season this with some salt. I've put about half a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Now with the best kitchen tools I'm going to go in with my clean fingers and mix this all together. It's a great weekday meal or a weekend. You can enjoy it anytime. See how colorful the peppers make this? It looks amazing once it's ready. I've lined the baking tray with a foil just for easy cleanup and now we're going to form our meatloaf. We're going to take two bits of similar size. And we're going to place them overlapping each other. And now we're going to form a log with the mixture. Now we're going to cover this with the foil and roll it up and make sure that you tighten it as you go so that it remains nice and firm. Now we're going to give it a good twist on this side. So this forms a nice cylinder shape and it looks amazing when it's finally baked. And we're going to twist the other side too. And you want to twist it nice and tight so it forms a cylinder. We're going to bend it down and now we're going to give this a good roll so we get a good round shape. We're going to place this in the lined tray now we're going to pop this into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for approximately one hour. Now we're going to let the meatloaf rest for at least five minutes before we open up the foil. I transfer the meatloaf into another baking sheet which I've lined again and now we're going to open it up. Let's see that lovely roll that we've got. 
Let's broil the meatloaf uncovered for about five minutes so that we get a nice glaze on it. Now look at that. I'm feeling very generous, so let's go with thick slices. I like to serve meatloaf with a side of potato mash and gravy. If you'd like to know how I prepared them, let me know in the comments below. And because we love to impress, a gentle sprinkle of parsley. Now for the moment I always look forward to, let's give this a taste. Take some of the potato mash and the gravy too. Mm. Wow, this is amazing. The combination of the two meats and the oats, it all works so perfectly together. This is the best meatloaf I've ever tasted. And the potato mash and the gravy, chef's kiss. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe and if you hit on the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload new videos. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.